Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to throw a spanner in this week and do something a little bit different to the how-to. I'm going to be doing a studio tour and just showing you guys around uh, my little setup. It's nothing huge, just nothing fancy, and to be honest, it's a little bit of a mess. I did clean up a little bit, but I don't know, it's still messy to me. Anyway, I just want to show you guys around and you know, show you guys how I, you know, my workspace and how I work. All right, so this is the full workspace as you see it. Uh, it's really tiny, like it's just a small bedroom that I just fitted into a studio um, full of stuff. Um, let's start off with the most important thing is Cooper's bed. There he sits while I work. He's my little work assistant for the day. Aren't you dude? Say hello. Good boy. Okay, so this is my desk. This is where I pretty much do the majority of things. Now I've got my uh, iMac here. I've got my Cintiq down here. This is a 13 HD for anyone asking. Um, it took me a long, long time to get this. I was using an Intuos for many years. Uh, and then I saved up and a bit of birthday money and things like that over time. And I managed to finally get it. I've had this going now for four years and it works great. I would like to upgrade it to something bigger. Um, but... You know, financially, I can't really afford to, so this guy, I'm glad I have this guy now. Um, this is some duct tape that I bought for some uh, stuff. Um, keyboard. Uh, here, under all this junk, told you my room was a mess, uh, is my record player, because I like to play records sometimes during the day. This does generally become a bit of a dumping ground for all my notes and paperwork and stuff. Uh, here is my big TARDIS mug. Uh, which is essentially just my pen holder. I've got the scissors, I've got my, my bone folder uh, for when I make books and brushes and just little bits and pieces. Got a little desk lamp which I barely use. Uh, it does come in handy sometimes. Uh, my little phone holder. Um, so when I'm working, I would show you where my phone, but it's in my hands. Um, I usually just sit there, I've got my cable pretty much ready, so when I'm doing videos like this one, I can just chuck it in, upload it, and my phone just sits there and charges during the day. Uh, a copy of Legends of Tomorrow, which I still haven't watched, but I will get around to eventually. Um, got that one for Christmas. Uh, a few little toys and stickers. I'll show you the stickers that I've got. There's some John Tomer Reaver stuff, a uh, little Wolverine and a Deadpool that he's done. The rest of these are actually from Wacky Packs, which I got from uh, Marshall. Um, that one's my Nevermore book. But the rest of them are from the Wacky Packs, which Marsh got me uh, last year in one of the food packs. This is my little poo. The story behind this poo is I had to buy a pair of shoes, which I'm wearing now. But the poo, uh, it was either pay an extra $6 for shipping, or I could buy something for $6 and get uh, free shipping. So if you had seen as I'm going to be paying the $6 anyway, I might as well get something. And this is the lucky guy who uh, who made the cut. <laughs> there wasn't really much else on the website to get that interested me. So, little poo wobble head. Uh, this is where I keep my stylus. Uh, inside this, if you don't know, there's like a little case in. There's nibs in there. And this is my other little case. There's more nibs in there as well. Although I'm running out, actually, I need to get some new nibs. Uh, so if anyone wants to donate some nibs... Go nuts. I like the ones with the springs. They're really, really nice. Uh, thanks to Thrust for, for showing me those. Um, again, more toys. I just like to have lots of funky things around for inspiration. So when I'm looking around, I'm not looking at a blank space. Like I can just look up at things and get, you know, ideas. So um, there's some bubble heads that I got as gifts. Uh, another one of a, a toy that Marsh made which was sent to me in the little food packet. So if you guys ever watched that food video, uh, that's him there. Uh, Pokeball, which I believe is empty, which had this little guy in there. And my teeth, which actually chatter. These are like some of my favorite things. Yeah, I found that at a $2 shop and I thought that's too cool not to have. Okay, as for... Uh, we'll keep going on the workstation and then we'll move over to the books. So, sorry guys about the, the blurring this, my phone keeps trying to auto adjust. So this is the grand workstation where I pretty much do all my videos, so you guys probably recognize all these stickers here. Now this is a marker, so when my camera is hooked up to this guy, I have to make sure that the paper is above this line to make sure that it's in the shot. Uh, if it's not, then obviously bits get cut off, uh, but when it's like that, that's pretty much what you see when I do a regular video. If I zoom out, you can see the blue line and all the duct tape to hold everything down. This here is actually just a piece of Perspex. Um, I think I just tricked it into thinking I was 
knocking on the door. So this is just a uh, piece of perspective, so duct taped to the table here. Uh, if we have a look underneath, I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well. Yeah. So here's a bit of cardboard. And if we, oh, there we go. <laughs> it's just got uh, LED strip lighting, which uh, is all just duct taped together uh, to hold it all down. Um, and this just sits up here. Um, it's not plugged in at the moment, so I can't really show you guys. Um, but this just lights up my whole setup. But because my table is glass, the light's too bright. So this piece of Perspex actually diffuses all that light, which is really, really handy when I'm having to trace things up and whatnot. Uh, next to that, I've got uh, just the desk lights, which you guys probably saw in my uh, vlogs recently. Uh, inks, which I haven't played a lot with. Uh, all my brushes. This is where I leave my headphones because I don't have anywhere else to put them. Uh, rulers and just bits of junk. I've got some watercolour paint there. And I've got a little drawer here. So these are my watercolours, my brushes. I've got some sample stuff that I need to play with one day. I have some Copic markers. What else have we got? That's my little ink tray for when I'm working. More watercolours. This is my watercolour travel set. Um, or my cheap one. Or my, that's my more expensive one that I've got. And these are my uh, travel brushes here, some extra watercolour pans which I bought from work. I can all go back in. And then in here, just some random stuff. Uh, this is, I usually buy these in bulk and I'm running out. Again, if you want to donate some, feel free. <laughs> uh, just some blue pencils. Uh, these are the Colorace blue pencils which I really like. Um, oh, I only have one left. Well, use them wisely. So there we go, there's that. Uh, over here, this is a sort of like a storage station. This is generally far messier. Um, at the moment, I need to find some more storage options. Here's some original art, um, which I just need to get some folders or something to put in. Uh, all my comics, which need a better storage place as well, eventually. Um, these are some blank comics, which uh, I just have available if anyone wants uh, sketch covers done. And this is filled with, okay, let's see wires and a watercolor palette and I don't even know what that is. What is that? Oh! Business cards! I didn't even know I had business cards in there. Well that's fantastic. Just a bunch of random stuff. In here I know these bottom two shelves are just full of sketchbooks. So these are all my sketchbooks. I just like to keep them nice and neat. I think you can better idea of how much is in there. And the same one down here, I'll move this stuff out of the way so you guys can actually see. It is just, yeah, chalkers full of sketchbooks. All these have been finished and filled. Um, so when I did the uh, Why You Should Draw Every Day video, I actually had to go through these and pick out like a really, really old one and a, you know, most recent one and whatnot. Um, here I also have... This is actually just a cheap kitchen kitchen scale that we got for free for some reason. Uh, but this is actually really handy to weigh um, my packages and stuff. So if I just put a book on there, for example, without it falling over, like that. And I can see that that book weighs uh, just over 200 grams, which is great because then I have an idea of how much I have to pay for postage So that's why I have that so I can get correct postage costs when I send stuff out to people um, This is just a bunch of more junk. All oh, this is just storage. So there's more comic books down there um, That's actually full of like convention stuff. So old banners and things like that um, This is actually I want to do a video on this soon too. Um, this is my old Copic case, and these are all the markers I have. Most of them are Mepsis. These ones are Ergo Pros. Uh, I work in an art shop, so I actually got these for free uh, to test them out for a supplier to give a review on them. Um, unfortunately, I didn't really like them, but some of them aren't too bad. Um, not a lot of Copics uh, and Sharpies, just a lot of Sharpies because I love Sharpies, they're fun to use. So that's my marker set. Um, so I do have to do more marker work. I think these ones here are all the brush, whereas these guys here are all design markers. I don't really like them, and I kind of wish I could just trade them over for the brush markers, but I just deal with what I've got. 
some paper I've never used. And this is just more storage stuff. This is all some old records that my mum got me of people I have no idea who they are. And they're just so tacky and old. Um, but I've kept them so I can just use the actual records for something. So I might actually put some gesso on these and paint on them or something. That might be cool. There's a little bean bag. AJ sits in there sometimes when I'm looking after her. Alright, so we're nearing the end of the studio tour. Oh, I forgot to show you the drawers. I have some drawers here. I should mention too, this desk. I absolutely love this desk. Um, this is my crappy chair because my old one broke. Until um, I can get a new, afford to get a new one. Oh, and my printer down there. It's just a crappy little printer scanner thing that I've got for like 30 or 40 bucks. Um, anyway, this desk I got from Martin Abel. Uh, when he was moved to Tasmania, the desk was too big for them to uh, take it with them over uh, into on the boat. So he sold it to me at a good price, and I absolutely love this desk. It's fantastic. It's quite wide. It's got a fair bit of space compared to, say, that desk, which I got from Ikea for, like, uh, 50 bucks. Um, this is nice and wide, and it has drawer space, and it's really solid as well. I've never had an issue with it, absolutely love it. Um, and when I'm making books and stuff, I generally clear everything off of it and do all my bookmaking and sticker making and everything here as well, because um, it's just a nice little setup. Anyway, so it's got some drawers, I'll show you what's in here. Um, yeah, this is just storage in my box for my phone, a print that I haven't stuck up, my Young and the Dead cards, which I just don't have anything to do with them at the moment, from uh, Scott's Kickstarter. They're cool. My glasses, which I don't very, wear very often, are uh, in here. Uh, this is all camera equipment, so I've got my uh, tiny little camera here on its mount. Uh, one of my little tripods, uh, and then there's just some more stuff in that box there. And just some stickers and pens and junk, and my old mouse. And then in these ones... These ones I just kind of store all my paper and stuff in. So we're old pads and just some more cards that Marsh got me. And this one. Again, just more paper. And more business cards! Because you can never have too many business cards. I actually realise now I bought these ones because uh, I thought I'd run out. And now that I've found the other ones, I feel stupid. But it doesn't matter. Because I'll use them all eventually anyway. Uh, well, it's good to have with the upcoming convention. So this is my book collection. Pretty much everything in this bookshelf is comics and novels, which isn't a lot. That's pretty much my collection of novels. My One of my favorite books, actually, is this one, Nick Cave, The Death of Bunny Munro. Uh, I've read that a few times. I don't read a whole lot, as you can tell, so I'm mostly a comic guy. I've read probably 80% of what's here in the comics. I still need to read a few more. Down here are all my kids and animated DVDs which isn't a lot, I'd like more. And there's a couple more finished sketchbooks as well. These ones are really big, they just don't fit into the uh, into that shelving uh, drawer that I showed you before. Um, just some random toys and stuff again, just things I've collected. Most of these pops have all been presents. Um, one of my most favorite ones is this one, and this was a gift from my friend Rod, uh, who is probably the biggest Marvel collector I, or comic or pop culture collector I know. And uh, I was really wanting one of these, and they'd sold out. And Rod's just the nicest guy you could ever meet, and he came up to me and gave it to me. Um, and I'm forever grateful for that, so thank you so much, dude. Um, and there's my Jay and Simon Bob. Okay. Yeah, otherwise just some sort of random ones. Uh, and these are all my art books. I love, I've just got sort of a bit of an eclectic collection here. A few Marvel ones. Um, this one's sort of the movie collection, Guardians, the Marvel Encyclopedia, which is super handy, especially if you're doing commissions and stuff and you don't know characters. This one's probably my most favourite, The Art of Blizzard Entertainment, because this covers pretty much all their games up until Overwatch. has a lot of concepts on their backgrounds and their building structures, as well as the characters and weapons. More World of Warcraft stuff, because I had the collector editions. This one is probably my second favourite, The Art of Dreamworks. This one has a lot of stuff all the way up to like how to train your dragon and whatnot. Um, Martin Abel's art books, the Avatar, that one's a really nice one too. These ones are cool, these ones I got from uh, a second hand shop and these are like really old painterly sci-fi stuff, they're fun. Um, a few more art books, most of these are like uh, local art books from friends and stuff. 
um, and a few more. This one's a really fun book, Cabinets of Wonder. I might actually go through some of these books one day in a video, because this one here is just like a collection of photos from weird people's weird collections, um, and that one's really fun. Prometheus, which Cooper unfortunately got, chewed up the, uh, the corner there, thanks for that buddy. And there's my record collection, which is just slowly building, that took about a year to build, and I wish I had more, I just don't have the money. More comics, like these are the big ones that don't actually fit into the bookshelf properly. And then just more storage for paper and stickers and stuff. That's my Millennium Falcon, which is just remote controlled. I like to chase the dog around with that. He hates it, but whatever. And these are just prints and stuff. So these prints just sort of keep me inspired. Uh, it's worth pointing out when I actually set up this room originally, my desk would run all the way along this wall, the whole length of it. I didn't like that. I just wanted a bit of space and openness. So I shifted everything into the center. Anyway, yeah, this is, uh, so the last of it is just my DVD collection, sort of what's left anyway. Um, these are all just movies and a few little TV series um, and some prints and stuff. This used to be a noteboard, but I've just slapped things on there now. It's pretty much just an additional uh, art board of, you know, just reference and things like that. And I will show you, just lastly, please excuse some of the clothes. This is the rest of my DVD collection, and it probably doesn't look like much. So this is actually mine and Jazz's collectively, I'm on Blu-rays. It probably doesn't look like a lot, but when I actually open this drawer up, you can see how deep that is. That whole thing is full of DVDs, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it for my studio tour. Thanks guys for checking it out. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If there's any questions you have about anything that you saw in the video, please shoot them in the comments below and I'll be, uh, I'll be sure to answer them. Uh, I will do some future videos and focus on a few things like uh, the art books that I have, some of my favorite comics as well. Um, just go through them. Um, if you guys want to learn more about, you know, how I go about doing all of this stuff, ask them and I'll make a video about it. Otherwise, I hope you guys are having a great week. Uh, I'll catch you all uh, very soon in one of the next videos. Have a good day. Bye.